Greer Garson was a British-American actress who became one of Hollywood's top stars in the 1940s. Born in England in 1904, Greer rose to fame in Hollywood for her elegant and sophisticated screen presence, as well as her exceptional acting talent. Throughout her career, Greer received seven Academy Award nominations and won the award for Best Actress in 1942 for her role in the film Mistress Miniver. She was also nominated for her performances in Goodbye, Mr. Chips, Blossoms in the Dust, and Madame Curie, among others. Greer's talent extended beyond the silver screen. She was also a successful stage actress, appearing in numerous Broadway productions, including The Master Builder and anti -Man. In addition, she was a prominent figure in radio and television, hosting her own radio show and making numerous guest appearances on TV shows. Greer was known for her humanitarian work, particularly her efforts during World War II. She was a passionate advocate for the British War Relief Society and worked tirelessly to raise funds and awareness for the organization. Despite her many accomplishments, Greer remained humble and down to earth throughout her career. She was highly respected by her peers and adored by her fans who appreciated her grace, beauty, and exceptional talent. Greer Garson's legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Greer Garson was a beloved actress known for her work in films like Pride and Prejudice in Mistress Miniver. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with one of her movies or performances. Maybe a particular moment from one of her works has had a lasting impact on you. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Do you have a favorite Greer Garson role or movie? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. As we delve into the life and career of Greer Garson, you can expect to learn many surprising and interesting facts. From her humble beginnings to her rise to stardom, there's much to discover about this talented actress. So keep watching to learn more. Greer Garson was born Eileen Evelyn Greer Garson in 1904 in England. Her father was a military man and her mother was a homemaker. Greer was the youngest of four children and was raised in a loving yet disciplined home. She was introduced to theater at a young age by her mother, who would often take her to local plays. Greer's family encouraged her to pursue her passion for the arts, and she began acting in school productions. After completing her education, she worked as a school teacher for a brief period before deciding to pursue acting full-time. Greer's early career was marked by small roles in British films and stage productions. However, it was her breakout role in the 1939 film Goodbye. Mr. Chips that catapulted her to fame. The film's director, Sam Wood, recognized Greer's talent and became one of her key mentors in the industry. Greer's success in Goodbye, Mr. Chips led to a contract with MGM, and she moved to Hollywood to continue her acting career. There, she worked with some of the biggest names in the industry, including Spencer Tracy, Walter Pigeon, and Clark Gable. Throughout her career, Greer was known for her elegant demeanor, poise, and grace both on and off the screen. She was a true professional and a mentor to many aspiring actors. Despite her success, Greer remained humble and dedicated to her craft, always striving to improve and push herself as an artist. Greer Garson, born Eileen Evelyn Greer Garson on September 29, 1904, in Manfield, England, was an accomplished actress known for her work in Hollywood during the golden age of cinema. Her parents, George and Nina, were loving and supportive, and they encouraged her to pursue her passions. Greer's early life was marked by a love of learning and a passion for the arts. She attended the University of London, where she studied philosophy and literature. After graduating, she worked as a teacher before pursuing a career in acting. Greer's big break came in 1939 when she was discovered by Hollywood talent scouts and offered a contract with MGM. She quickly became one of the studio's most popular actresses, known for her elegant demeanor and sophisticated style. Greer's career was shaped by a number of significant events and influences. She starred in a series of successful films, including Goodbye, Mr. Chips, Pride and Prejudice, and Mistress Miniver, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Greer's work was also influenced by her personal experiences and beliefs. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and was known for her philanthropic work, particularly in support of the Red Cross and other charitable organizations. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout her career, 
Greer remained committed to her craft and continued to work in film and television until her retirement in the 1980s. She passed away on April 6, 1996, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most beloved and respected actresses. Greer Garson, the renowned British actress, discovered her passion for acting during her time at the University of London, where she studied French and English literature. She was an active participant in the school's drama club and often took on leading roles in various productions. One pivotal experience that fueled her desire to pursue acting as a career was her performance as Lady Macbeth in a university production of Shakespeare's Macbeth. Her powerful and moving portrayal of the character left a lasting impression on her peers and professors, and it was then that she realized the impact that acting could have on others. After graduating from the University of London, Garson continued to act in local theater productions and eventually caught the attention of a Hollywood agent. She moved to the United States and signed a contract with MGM, where she quickly became one of the studio's most popular and respected actresses. Throughout her career, Greer Garson captivated audiences with her versatile acting skills and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. She left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and will always be remembered for her contributions to the arts. Greer Garson, known for her role as Paula in Random Harvest, put in significant effort for the She Is My Daisy number. She rehearsed for three weeks with choreographers Ernst Matre and Maria Matre, and her performance was met with enthusiasm from the 200 extras, which boosted her confidence. Garson's acting coach, Lillian Burns, noted that Garson would have been more content appearing in musicals than in dramatic roles. A common misconception is that Garson's acceptance speech for the 1943 Academy Award for Mistress Miniver was over an hour long. However, it was actually only 5-12 minutes, making it the longest acceptance speech ever. Garson and her co-star, Ronald Common, contributed to improving the script of Random Harvest by meeting privately with the director, Mervyn Leroy, or sending notes to him, and producer Sidney Franklin. Garson's notes were so helpful that Franklin jokingly offered her an office in the studio's writer's building. Greer Garson, a talented actress, faced many challenges in her early career. Despite growing up in a loving family, they struggled financially. Greer's mother, a passionate woman, encouraged her to pursue acting, but they could barely afford the necessary training. Determined to follow her dream, Greer found a solution by working as a library assistant to pay for her acting lessons. Once Greer entered the film industry, she encountered skepticism from studio executives who doubted her potential. They believed her unconventional looks and calm demeanor wouldn't appeal to audiences. However, Greer's resilience and determination led her to prove them wrong. She worked tirelessly to improve her craft and took on various roles to showcase her versatility. Greer's breakthrough role came in the film Goodbye, Mr. Chips, where she captivated audiences with her emotional performance. Her success continued with a series of critically acclaimed films, and she won the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1942 for her role in Mistress Miniver. Throughout her career, Greer Garson faced numerous obstacles, but her unwavering determination and creative solutions allowed her to overcome them and leave a lasting impact on the film industry. Greer Garson made a significant impact in the film industry, with six of her movies nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. These include Goodbye, Mr. Chips in 1939, Blossoms in the Dust, and Mistress Miniver in 1941, Random Harvest, and Madame Curie in 1942, and Julius Caesar in 1953. Among these, Mistress Miniver was the only winner. Garson was nominated for Best Actress for her performances in all of these, except for Random Harvest and Julius Caesar. Her role as Mistress Miniver was particularly noteworthy. At the 1943 Oscars, Garson's acceptance speech for Best Actress set a record, lasting an astonishing 5-12 minutes. Over the years, the length of her speech has been exaggerated, with some sources now claiming it was 30 minutes or more. Mistress Miniver was a major success, playing for 10 consecutive weeks at the Radio City Music Hall. This was just one week less than another of Garson's hits, Random Harvest, which was also released in 1942. Greer Garson, a British actress, had several breakthrough moments in her career. In 1939, she signed a contract with MGM and was immediately cast in Goodbye, Mr. Chips, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. 
This role established her as a serious dramatic actress in Hollywood. Her career-defining moment came with the film Mistress Miniver in 1942. Her portrayal of the strong-willed and compassionate title character resonated with audiences during World War II. The film won six Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and Garson received her first Oscar for Best Actress. Her performance was praised for its authenticity and depth, marking a significant milestone in her career. Later, in Madame Curie, Garson played the groundbreaking scientist Marie Curie, earning another Academy Award nomination. This role further solidified her status as a talented and versatile actress. Greer Garson's collaborators and critics often spoke highly of her work. Director William Wyler, who worked with her on Mistress Miniver, said, Greer Garson has the most expressive face I've ever worked with. She can convey so much with just a look. Critic James Aji noted, Miss Garson is an actress of extraordinary range and versatility. In summary, Greer Garson's breakthrough moments included her performances in Goodbye, Mr. Chips, Mistress Miniver, and Madame Curie. These roles showcased her talent and versatility, earning her critical acclaim and establishing her as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Greer Garson is best known for her role as Elizabeth Bennett in the 1940 film Pride and Prejudice, a part that was originally intended for Vivian Lee. Garson's portrayal of the character became iconic and helped establish her as a leading lady in Hollywood. In 1962, Garson accepted the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role on behalf of Sophia Loren, who wasn't present at the award ceremony. This act of graciousness demonstrated Garson's professionalism and respect for her peers in the industry. Despite her serious image in films such as Madame Curie, Garson was not afraid to poke fun at herself. There was a skit in the MGM All-Star Spectacular Ziegfeld Follies called The Great Lady Gives an Interview, written by Roger Eden and Kay Thompson. It was originally meant to be performed by Garson as a spoof of her image in dramas. However, Garson declined to participate due to her mother's disapproval. Judy Garland then did a satirical impersonation of Garson as Madame Crematon, the inventor of the safety pin. Overall, Greer Garson's career was marked by her talent, professionalism, and grace both on and off the screen. Greer Garson, a renowned actress, was known for her unique approach to her work. She was deeply committed to her roles and often spent extensive time researching and preparing for them. Garson had a knack for fully embodying her characters, making them believable and relatable to her audience. One of the key aspects of Garson's artistic process was her ability to connect with the characters she played on a personal level. She once said, I have to understand a character before I can play her. I have to know what makes her tick, what her fears and hopes are. This approach allowed her to bring depth and nuance to her performances, making them truly memorable. Garson's worldview and personal experiences were also reflected in her work. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and often chose roles that highlighted the strength and resilience of women. Her performances were a testament to her belief in the power of perseverance and determination. In addition to her commitment to her craft, Garson was also known for her unique style. She had a grace and elegance that was all her own, and she brought this quality to every role she played. Her distinctive voice and poised demeanor made her a standout in any film she appeared in. Overall, Greer Garson's artistic vision and process were characterized by her deep commitment to her work, her ability to connect with her characters on a personal level, and her unique style and grace. Her contributions to the world of film continue to be celebrated and cherished by audiences today. Greer Garson was a celebrated actress, honored as Turner Classic Movies Star of the Month in March 2013. In 1993, she received a CBE in the Queen's Honors list for her contributions to drama and entertainment. During her time at MGM, Greer Garson became the studio's rising star, taking on significant roles in films such as Random Harvest in 1942. Notably, Joan Crawford, a prominent star at MGM, had hoped to secure the role of Paula in Random Harvest. However, the studio assigned her weaker scripts, hoping she would break her contract. When the role went to Greer Garson instead, Crawford left the studio soon after. Garson's success in Random Harvest and other films marked a significant shift in her career and solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Greer Garson was a British-American actress who made a significant contribution to the film industry 
particularly during the 1940s. She was known for her elegant and sophisticated screen presence, which captivated audiences worldwide. Garson's work influenced many industry experts and inspired a generation of actors. One of Garson's most notable contributions to the industry was her portrayal of strong and intelligent female characters. She often played women who were well-educated, independent, and capable of making their own decisions. This was a departure from the typical female roles of the time, which often depicted women as submissive and dependent on men. Garson's characters were complex and multidimensional, which resonated with audiences and helped to break down gender stereotypes. Garson's acting technique was also influential. She had a unique ability to convey emotion and depth through her performances, which was particularly evident in her dramatic roles. Her co-star, Walter Pigeon, once said, Greer had a wonderful way of underplaying. She could do more with a glance than most actresses could with a soliloquy. The subtlety and nuance in her acting style helped to create more authentic and believable characters. Garson's influence can also be seen in the types of stories that were told in Hollywood. Her success in films such as Mistress Miniver and Madame Curie demonstrated that there was an audience for movies that featured strong female protagonists and tackled important social issues. This helped to pave the way for future filmmakers to create more diverse and inclusive stories. Industry experts and those inspired by Garson have praised her contributions to the industry. Film historian G9 Basinger said, Greer Garson was a trailblazer. She proved that women could be both intelligent and feminine, and she inspired a generation of actresses to take on more challenging roles. Actress Judy Dench, who was influenced by Garson's work, said, Greer Garson was a true inspiration. She had a grace and dignity that was captivating, and her ability to convey emotion through her performances was extraordinary. In conclusion, Greer Garson's contribution to the film industry was significant and far-reaching. Her portrayal of strong and intelligent female characters, subtle and nuanced acting technique, and influence on the types of stories told in Hollywood have left a lasting impact on the industry. She remains an inspiration to actors and filmmakers today. Greer Garson starred in the Lux Radio Theater's second 60-minute radio adaptation of Random Harvest on April 19, 1948, reprising her role as Paula alongside Ronald Coleman. Garson had a strong rapport with her favorite cinematographer, Joseph Rutenberg, who used diffusion and fill lighting to soften her features and was aware of her best angles. The studio's art department also constructed sets to favor her facial asymmetry. Later, in 1958, Greer Garson replaced Rosalind Russell in the Broadway version of Annie Mame. Her performance was well received, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Greer Garson, the renowned actress, led a life that was not only dedicated to her craft, but also to various philanthropic causes. She was known for her passion for helping others, particularly in the areas of education and healthcare. Garson was a strong advocate for education and was involved in several educational institutions throughout her life. She served as a trustee for the University of California and was also a member of the board of directors for the University of Southern California. Her dedication to education extended beyond her involvement in these institutions, as she was also known to provide scholarships to students in need. In addition to her work in education, Garson was also deeply committed to healthcare. She was a longtime supporter of the American Red Cross and served as the organization's national chairman for many years. Garson was also involved in various other healthcare organizations, including the National Tuberculosis Association and the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Garson's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with her professional work as an actress. She was known for her roles in films that highlighted social issues and promoted positive change. For example, in her film Mistress Miniver, Garson portrayed a strong and resilient woman who faced the challenges of war with courage and determination. This role earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress and helped to solidify her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Despite her success in Hollywood, Garson remained humble and dedicated to helping others throughout her life. She was known for her generosity and her commitment to making the world a better place. Her philanthropic efforts and dedication to social causes continue to inspire and impact people to this day. 
Greer Garson was the 20th actress to receive an Academy Award, winning the Best Actress Oscar for her role in Mistress Miniver in 1943. She had expressed her desire to adopt children if she didn't marry soon, but never did. Garson was cast as Mistress Miniver after Norma Shearer declined the role, and despite not wanting the part, she won an Academy Award for her performance. That same year, Shearer married a much younger man and retired from acting, while Garson's career continued to flourish. Greer Garson left a lasting impact on the film industry with her talented and compelling performances. She was known for her ability to portray complex characters with depth and emotion, which resonated with audiences and critics alike. Her work in classics such as Pride and Prejudice and Mistress Miniver etched her name in the annals of Hollywood history. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Garson would likely advise honing one's craft through education, practice, and a deep understanding of human emotions. She might encourage young actors to study literature, history, and art to broaden their knowledge and deepen their ability to empathize with a wide range of characters. Garson's future contributions to the industry may have taken many forms, from teaching and mentoring to continued acting and advocacy for the arts. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, and her legacy continues to inspire and empower aspiring professionals today. In short, Greer Garson's legacy is one of talent, dedication, and impact. Her advice to aspiring professionals would likely emphasize the importance of education, empathy, and hard work in achieving success in the industry. Greer Garson is best known for her role in the 1942 film Mistress Miniver, which earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. In the movie Random Harvest, she can be seen riding a vintage 1918 bicycle during the picnic scene where Smithy proposes to Paula. Although Garson preferred to use her own bike, the art department provided her with the antique one for authenticity. After production, Mervyn Leroy gifted her a new bicycle, which she enjoyed riding around Beverly Hills. Greer Garson was a naturalized citizen of the United States, having been born and raised in England until her move to America. Greer Garson was a British-American actress, born in England, who found her passion for acting at a young age. She studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and began her career on the stage before transitioning to film. Garson's big break came in 1939 when she was discovered by MGM and cast in the film Goodbye, Mr. Chips, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. Throughout her career, Garson appeared in over 30 films and became known for her elegant and sophisticated screen presence. She was often cast in period dramas, showcasing her ability to embody strong and complex characters. Garson's most notable role was in the film Mistress Miniver, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1942. Garson's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. She was a trailblazer for women in film, proving that they could carry a movie and captivate audiences with their talent. Garson's passion for acting and her dedication to her craft inspired generations of actors and filmmakers. In addition to her work in film, Garson was also known for her humanitarian efforts. She was a dedicated supporter of various charities and was recognized for her philanthropy with several awards and accolades. Greer Garson's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. She pursued her passion for acting with determination and grace, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence the entertainment industry today. Garson's enduring impact serves as a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can achieve their dreams and make a lasting impact on the world. Greer Garson is known for her on-screen partnership with Walter Pigeon having played his wife in eight films, including Blossoms in the Dust and Mistress Miniver. One notable performance was in Random Harvest, where she suggested singing She Is My Daisy while dressed in a kilt to portray her character Paula on stage. This suggestion was initially met with hesitation due to concerns about her image, but a mid-knee-length kilt was eventually chosen Ader Garson's Scottish heritage can be traced back to the MacGregor clan through her mother's maiden name. She is a descendant of Rob Roy MacGregor, a famous red-haired Scottish outlaw. In addition to her acting career, Garson was known for her elegant and sophisticated image. She was often referred to as the perfect lady and her on-screen persona reflected this reputation. 
Despite this, she was not afraid to take risks and try new things, as evidenced by her willingness to wear a kilt in random harvest. Let's take a moment to talk about the talented actress Greer Garson. Known for her work in films like Pride and Prejudice and Mistress Miniver, she left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. We'd love to hear your thoughts on her performances and how they've affected you. Did you have a favorite Greer Garson movie? What was it about her acting that stood out to you? Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters made her stand out in a crowd of actresses. If you haven't had the chance to see her work, we highly recommend it. Her films offer a glimpse into a bygone era of Hollywood and showcase her incredible talent. We hope you'll share your thoughts and memories of Greer Garson with us. And if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create and share this content with you.